Hello everybody, welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to show you how we can upload different and dynamic media types or media files to Adobe's AWS S3 bucket within a second and render them in browser. So without further ado, let's get started. So the screen you are seeing here is uh, the GitHub repository of the service I have used to upload the files and this um, repository supports AWS S3 up upload file of online file storage file upload to AWS S3 and uh, GCS Google Cloud Storage but today I'm going to illustrate only on AWS S3 but not on GCS uh, fully soon I'll uh, do that on GCS as well so next uh, this uh, repository uh, uses following packages express body password .env, express file upload aws sdk and google cloud storage google cloud storage is obviously for gcs and aws sdk is obviously for aws <coughs> s3 file upload uh, so uh, uh, i'll link this uh, repository in my description as well so where you can uh, from which you can navigate and you can use and test this service on your local machines as well uh, so now uh, let's jump into the code directly and so before starting uh, we need uh, some credentials of uh, AWS S3 uh, or AWS console uh, we need access ID uh, we need secret key and we need region of the bucket and the name of the bucket uh, if we have these four things then we are ready to go okay now let's get started uh, this is um, this is the four way structure or but architecture structure of uh, express of that uh, boilerplate generated from express generator so i haven't done much i haven't worked much on that i haven't put my effort on that so uh, with, i have used express generator and uh, created some, some uh, boilerplate and i have used that so here i'm using express file upload and to upload multi-part firm data uh, is I'm using Postman uh, to upload the file. Uh, so we, ne we need to use uh, body parser to pass the body of the post request and then uh, express file upload to support multi-part firm data um, while uploading files or media types. And this is the route section. And I have used limit uh, here, limit, uh, a limit object has uh, object that contains file size uh, key value here and this is the limit of the files that uh, uh, maximum limit that we can upload the file uh, so now here is the route for AWS and GCS I'm going to um, explain on AWS so let's um, go to controller and go to upload file to AWS and here I have done nothing expect uh, uh, requiring the files and that have been updated in uh, uploaded from Postman or from any anywhere from any client or from from any uh, any service client service you have you are you are using so here the file is uploaded in uh, the media uh, key and I'm requiring that and I'm sending that file to our uh, file upload service so let's jump to file upload service uh, file upload service this is the actual function which is which is uh, which uploads the file to AWS S3 so let's uh, so I'll explain this um, before going to this function let's uh, uh, navigate up and here I have used this AWS SDK, uh, this is uh, AWS SDK package um, to upload the file, and I have created a uh, stance of AWS uh, SDK uh, S3 uh, providing access ID and secret key, and later we, we use this S3 to upload files, and here I have uh, given a file name uh, that is used in key later and uh, um, um, for the purpose of for the sake of uh, unique uh, file name or key name I have uh, mm, what I have uh, 
concatenated this uh, date um, current date and then then after i have concatenated the actual file name so that our file our objects that we push to our server will be unique or st will be unique and this is the meme type you can get the meme type of file by this file dot meme type uh, which is here uh, which is letter supplied in content type uh, so these are these are the params that we uh, that I have used to upload the file um, bucket this is the bucket name key that is the file name uh, that uh, that will be stored in the AWS S3 bucket and body the actual content that is stored on uh, that will be stored that is file data that is buffer data in our case here and content type the meme type of file uh, content type is uh, has to be supplied because uh, while rendering those file in browser browser has to understand what kind of uh, uh, content uh, content does that uh, url uh, contains or that uh, object has and so uh, that may be images maybe of jpg or png or maybe of uh, svg not the kind of logo maybe a pdf and any that might be anything so uh, in order to render that content we have to um, supply the content type as a meme type of file that is the meme type of file and another is acl you have to provide acl as a public grid uh, because without uh, the default uh, acl or that permission of the bucket is private so you can't access the objects of that private bucket uh, if you provide the <coughs> ACL is a public read then then only you can render that on somewhere in browser so next thing is uh, we have <coughs> used promise to resolve and re reject the uploading process and here uh, we we are using that uh, stance we have created s3 stance we have created and uploading the files uh, that are that are in params and later uh, the <coughs> risk will uh, if if success the rest will contain the response of um, response of uploaded if you wrote that, that content zero and on success uh, we'll get the uh, that location object and that location object contains uh, points to the um, pocket and links to that pocket uh, from which we can access the file uploaded so let's uh, go to demo uh, here um, okay let's select file Okay, I'm going to upload PDF uh, this time. Okay, now let's upload. It's taking time. Okay, it's uploaded. Mm -hmm. Let's visit this link. Sorry, I have clicked multiple times. Uh, so, oh, sorry. What a pan. Pond in Firefox. Okay let's visit this now this is the uploaded uh, media file to aws s3 and now it on uh, the browser is rendering that file is uh, the media type of this file is application pdf and then um, this is successfully uploaded okay uh, now this concludes the today's video by this way we can upload the uh, any kind of files to AWS S3 within a second. Uh, just we have to use this this simple functions that may be of not 15 line. It is by 15 line, and yes, now it is now completed. Okay, guys, I link this uh, report or description. Okay, and hope uh, this will be helpful to you. And uh, okay. See you on next video. Until then, stay connected, stay happy, stay healthier, stay safe, guys. Thank you.